or the Yom Tekala Bakar Award does not. And tomorrow will be the same. The Kala Bakar Award is our longest award, and it is, in our opinion, a very special award. It's a unique four-year award to honor scientists or and or and clinicians who made major contributions to our understanding, prevention, and treatment of diabetic foot disease, and also who are patients advocates. So that's quite a lot what we ask. And if you look to the past, these are the previous winners, and these are the giants on whose shoulders we all stand, like Dave Mukic just told us. Andrew Bolton, Jan Applequist, fortunately not here, Eddie Foster, Peter Kavanagh, who was actually the tutor of Sinko Bus, Ed Lipsky, fortunately here today, who was, for instance, the tutor of Edgar Peters and many of us, and very, very, very helpful in producing international work group guidelines. Mike Edmonds on the right, the founder of the diabetic food team and many innovative ways of treating patients. And our last winner, Larry Levery. So, wow. So what are the common traits of these guys and women? They are all excellent and original scientists. They are dedicated to foot disease for many, many years. They are teachers traveling all over the world to tell the good news. If I ask somebody where is Andrew Bolton to his former collaborators, they usually put up their finger. And I said, what do you mean? Well, he's up there in the airplane. So Andrew gave us the example, but many of us do the same. They travel around and they spend all their free time in teaching and bringing the good news. It's an example, there are usually all examples of multidisciplinary team players. That's why they were so successful. And I might confess I knew and know each of them. They're all very nice persons. And finally, each of them created his own school of researchers. So they left clearly a message in the field and a footprint in our area. So who is, who is the next winner? Now I will introduce you and I can say it's him. And he will introduce himself. I stole this from the internet. And I will do that show you in a moment. But he is an excellent original scientist. He is dedicated to the foot disease for many years. He's traveling. He is a multidisciplinary team player. He's a nice person. His own school. And finally, he is the carrier of a newly detect detected POT1 gene with a specific lesion. And I will explain to you later what that unique gene is. So who is it? Oh. <laughs> So I grew up in a specialty in dietary. I grew up in my dad's office in Santa Maria, California, and I saw from an early age what a difference you can make in just helping people move through the world, alleviating pain, and helping people just be a little bit more active and productive. Uh, and what's funny now is that I've sort of taken all of that stuff and uh, taken the instant gratification that you can get in treating someone and moved to the other end of the spectrum, which is taking care of folks with diabetes. A lot of those folks don't have the ability to feel pain and so they can wear a hole in their foot, like they wear a hole in a shoe or a sock, and that's called a diabetic foot ulcer. And that happens every one in a second. Well, this was typical, David. Uh, David, please come up to audience. <laughs>
I have a few words to say. Hello, David. Well, thank you, Carla, for coming here because you were the founder of this meeting and you are itself because of that and because of your work as an ambassador for the diabetic food for so, so, so many years, we decided to call this award the Diabetic Food Award. So, David, you got the honor. Why? You were born in February 1969. You studied at the California College of Cardiac Medicine with honors. Then you did a PhD and an MD at the University of Manchester, College of, College of Medicine. Then you had a Master of Science in Tissue Repair of Wound Healing in Wales. So already early in his career, he started traveling around the world. You had a residency at Kern Hospital for Special Surgery in Detroit. Then you were trained as a podiatrist under Colonel Brian David, under the you know, aspiring leadership of, Larry, of Hartless at the University of Texas in San Antonio. And then so typically, David, you started traveling around San Antonio, Tucson, Tucson, Chicago, Tucson, and now the University of South Columbia Tech Medicine, USA, USC. So, you are, like I mentioned, a PhD, Doctor of Podiatry Medicine. You're also a medical degree. And wow, if you look at this, I just looked it up a few days ago because you have to refresh it all the time because each day 10 new publications pop up. So it's already, you know, probably wrong what's here. But at the moment I looked, it was more than 670 publications if you just typed in Dave Armstrong and Diabetic Foot. And of course it will be more because the search term wasn't complete. And according to experts Cape and who am I to say that's not true, you are the world's number one top expert on diabetic foot disease. You are a trailblazer in many, 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 many areas of the diabetic foot. You are the initiator of several programs. In each of these institutions you visit, you set up programs that were, that were new, that was innovative, and where many people were participating in. You set up collaborations, organizations, etc. I, 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 I don't have the time to mention them all. You are a typical Californian Democrat, I've been told, which means that if you, so I ask somebody how to, well, how, how, how would you characterize David? And they came up with two terms, diversity and inclusion, which I think makes you a very great team player. And you're also the founding father of a partner organization of AA. It's called the CCA, Coca-Cola Anonymous. I will go into that in a moment. So here is all the places you'll be visiting and working. Uh, there are a few dots you haven't visited, I think, on the East Coast, but that will come soon. 